Unit Seven. Cultural diversity. Page sixteen. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Hi, Kevin. What are you reading? Hello, Maria. I'm reading a book about Vietnamese weddings. I see. Do you need the information for a school assignment? Yes, I'm preparing for my presentation about the similarities and differences between a traditional Vietnamese wedding and a modern one. That's interesting. So, what are the similarities? Both weddings include the proposal ceremony, the engagement ceremony, and the wedding ceremony. And the differences? The ceremonies are less complicated in modern weddings. Sounds better. I guess the bride and groom will be much happier if they don't have to waste money on unnecessary things. Well, in fact, wedding expenses these days are much greater than in the past. Why is that? What's the biggest cost? The reception is the most expensive, especially if it is held in a big hotel. I guess the couples get support from their families. Yes, of course. Some parents cover most expenses of the wedding. The bride and groom also get money as presents from the guests. Sounds good. They're surely the happiest people on their wedding day, no matter what the costs are. That's true. Well, I have to go now. Good luck with your presentation. Goodbye. Unit Seven, Page Seventeen. Language. Activity One. Listen and repeat, paying attention to the stress patterns. Increase, increase, decrease, decrease. Effect, perfect, present, present, import, import, export, export, protest, protest, object, object, rebel. Rebel. Contrast. Contrast. Unit seven. Page seventeen. Language. Activity two. Listen to the sentences. And practice saying them correctly. Pay attention to the stress pattern of the underlined words. One. There is an increase in the number of young people in Vietnam who marry later in life. Two. In Vietnam, guests often give money as a wedding present to the newly married couple. On their wedding day. Three, in big cities, the birth rate has decreased over the past few years. Four. In reality, it is difficult to meet the perfect life partner. Unit seven. Page twenty-one. Skills. Activity two. Listen to the talk and check your answers in one. Today, I will talk about the Amish weddings. 
Most Pennsylvania Amish weddings take place from late October through December. Traditionally, they are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so there is time in between to get ready for and clean up after each. Even so, it can get pretty busy during the wedding season, with some Amish going to two or three weddings in one day. While parents do not select who their children will marry, approval must be given. The couple planning to marry are announced at a church service. The wedding service itself, held in home of the bride's parents. After the service, the benches are put together to form tables for the wedding meal for about 200 to 300 guests. In the afternoon, the young people enjoy singing and after that, those who have stayed through the day join the evening meal. After spending the night at the bride's home, the next day, the newlyweds help with the clean-up from the day before. The couple then spends upcoming weekends visiting relatives, sometimes stopping at five or six houses between a Friday and Sunday night. Wedding gifts are usually given to them at this time. By the next spring, the couple is usually ready to move into a home of their own and the groom will begin growing his beard. This is an Amish tradition that signifies a man is married. Unit 7 Page 21 Skills Activity 3 Listen to the talk again and complete the missing information using no more than three words. Today, I will talk about the Amish weddings. Most Pennsylvania Amish weddings take place from late October through December. Traditionally, they are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so there is time in between to get ready for and clean up after each. Even so, it can get pretty busy during the wedding season with some Amish going to two or three weddings in one day. While parents do not select who their children will marry, approval must be given. The couple planning to marry are announced at a church service. The wedding service itself, held in home of the bride's parents. After the service, the benches are put together to form tables for the wedding meal for about 200 to 300 guests. In the afternoon, the young people enjoy singing and after that, those who have stayed through the day join the evening meal. After spending the night at the bride's home, the next day, the newlyweds help with the clean-up from the day before. The couple then spends upcoming weekends visiting relatives, sometimes stopping at five or six houses between a Friday and Sunday night. Wedding gifts are usually given to them at this time. By the next spring, the couple is usually ready to move into a home of their own and the groom will begin growing his beard. This is an Amish tradition that signifies a man is married. Unit 7 Page 24 Looking back Listen to some sentences and put the mark before the stressed syllables in the words below. 1 Thanks to globalisation, we can export 
more products to other countries. Two. There was a big protest against the war. Three. There is a big contrast between the two cultures. Four. Nowadays, Vietnam doesn't import many oil products from other countries. Five. People don't object to cross-cultural marriages any longer.